Hey guys, Justin here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Sunbird and the Hummingbird from Yo-Yo Friends. This contrast was requested by Adam from Casual Throw. Go check out his channel linked in the description below. This is the Sunbird and this is the Hummingbird from Yo-Yo Friends. The Hummingbird came first and then the Sunbird came as a monometal, more affordable version of the Hummingbird. Both are made out of 7068 aluminum and the Hummingbird has stainless steel rings. Both have a similar, if not identical profile, but the Sunbird has more beefy rims. Additionally, the Sunbird is two grams heavier than the Hummingbird. For response, they both use standard 19 millimeter pads. In the cup here, there's a little dimple. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a finger spin dimple, but in practice, I was not able to ever land inside the dimple. I'm gonna string these up, take them through a few tricks, and see how they contrast with one another. The music you're hearing in the background is by Timid. Check out his SoundCloud in the description below. On Cold Fusion and Kamikaze, on the throwdown, they don't feel as different as I expected them to feel. The Hummingbird does feel more maneuverable and fast moving, but not drastically so. On Skin the Gerbil, both of these yo-yos play fast, but the Hummingbird feels like it takes the speed a bit easier, and the Sunbird doesn't seem to be as stable as the Hummingbird. On Bouncy Castle, these weren't substantially different for bounces. The Hummingbird felt lighter, but it didn't feel like a massive difference. The finish is great for grinds, but the design causes there to be a good amount of friction. The Hummingbird handles this better with the increased stability. For fingerspin, I couldn't reliably land on the dimple, but even around the dimple, they were both good fingerspinners. For my horizontal throw and bind, I find the Hummingbird to be the clear choice here for me. The Sunbird, once again, did not feel as stable, and it did want to lean more. Here are my thoughts on the Sunbird and the Hummingbird from Yo-Yo Friends. For spin time in regular play, I didn't feel like one outperformed the other all that much. I would maybe give the edge to the Hummingbird, but it's not as drastic as I thought it would be. They both felt like they died right around the same time. They both came back with similar power after executing the same tricks. For stability, the Hummingbird I felt was significantly more stable than the Sunbird was. For weight, the Sunbird does weigh more and it does feel like it weighs more too, but it still doesn't feel heavy. The Hummingbird definitely does feel like a light yo-yo. For gap within response, I didn't notice a difference between the two. With thicker strings, I did see that they would both have issues with unexpected binds during like green triangles, but it was consistent for both yo-yos. The specs show that the gap width is slightly wider on the Hummingbird, but for my play, I didn't seem to notice much of a difference. For movability on the string, in terms of effort, I found the Hummingbird to require significantly less effort than the Sunbird to move. Once again, the Sunbird doesn't feel like it takes a lot of effort, it's just that the Hummingbird just feels like it takes even less. For precision and catchability, I found both of these to be equally catchable. They have almost identical catch zones. In conclusion, if you have neither yo-yo, which one should you buy? If you're looking for pure performance, I'd say get the Hummingbird. Although the difference in performance between the two was a lot less than the price difference would suggest. Price is a factor, which it usually is. I would say get the Sunbird. It is a great yo-yo. So the next question is, if you have one, should you get the other? I would say if you had the Sunbird and pick up the Hummingbird, you would feel like you got an upgrade. If you own both of these yo-yos, unless you were worried about destroying the Hummingbird, I think this is the one that you would gravitate towards. Those are my thoughts on the Sunbird and the Hummingbird from Yo-Yo Friends. If you have any questions or you want to see any other yo-yos reviewed or contrast, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.